Hey guys, even here and at 5 weeks out of Indie Pro, we have an addition of Morgan Aced. So, Larry Wills just made a video with him over there in Dubai, they were trading chess together and they did some posing as well. I definitely suggest this video, watch it, you can learn some helpful tips for chest growth and also you will notice, you will see that, that Morgan is actually stronger than Larry, at least when it comes to this type of training. So they were doing some presses with, with pauses and, Larry, and actually Larry was weaker than, than Morgan, which was crazy. And he, he's a huge guy, Larry is a huge bodybuilder as well, as, as well as a powerlifter and a strongman. But look at this guy, look at Morgan Ace, how big he is, he's dwarfing Larry Will somehow, basically. So Larry is six foot one. But Morgan is six foot three, so he's a bit taller, and he weighs 148 kilos, which is 330 pounds roughly. Guys, 330 pounds shredded. So on that stage, he's gonna be maybe like 320, 3, 315, probably. I don't think he needs to go lower than that. He's ripped right now. I mean, take a look at this guy. Take a look at his physique. Not the prettiest aesthetics, I have to admit. And not exactly ideally well put together. So he's not exactly a genetic marble like some guys that are doing this New York Pro, you know. But he, he's big. He's really big. He's going to be doing some dwarfing and he can get shredded. He can get really conditioned. Last time at the Arnold Classic, he was ripped. No, he didn't really place too well. I think he was only able to beat a couple of guys. He qualified for that Arnold Classic by winning Arnold Classic Amateur the year before. And that's the, well, that one of the ways to qualify for the Arnold Classic. And he looked shredded. He was the biggest guy up there. But because of his height, he wasn't exactly as full and as round. And he doesn't really have the prettiest genetics uh, among the other top, top pros. But he's a monster. He's definitely a freak. And honestly, I had no idea that he was so strong, but it only makes sense being this big. <laughs> I mean, having so much muscle on, on this tall frame, it's crazy, man. It's, it's crazy stuff. So we're gonna see him on stage against the other guys like Nick Walker, Blessing of Audible, Justin Rodriguez, Hassan Mustafa. And we have updates of those guys as well. I'm gonna show that to you in a moment. But once again, check this out. I mean, check this most muscular comparison here. If you consider the fact that Larry is a beast of a man, and this guy is managing kind of to dwarf him, really, to make him look less impressive. It's weird, it's crazy. I mean, Larry, he doesn't have the best aesthetics, the best genetics, the best shape uh, to be on a bodybuilding stage, but when he stands next to the other guys, he can dwarf a lot of them. And he does not do that with Morgan Haste, who also really doesn't have the best shaped muscle, you know, for the stage. But still, when he, when he stands like this, this big and this lean, it just makes you go, wow. And I don't know how well he's gonna look on stage, how well will he place, I don't know that. But I know that he's gonna give us a show. And I don't think he ever looked this good. I've noticed him posting some photos, but I didn't know that he was prepping for Indie Pro and the New York Pro. So we're gonna see him against the top pros once again, much better version of Morgan Aced, the biggest and probably the strongest, definitely the strongest bodybuilder today in IBB Pro League, very impressive physique, what do you guys think, how well will he do at the Indie Pro and the New York Pro, will he give a proper battle to Blessing of Audible at the Indie Pro, can he actually win the show, how well will he place in the New York Pro, which is a really good show this year, what do you think about Morgan Ace? tell me down below, what a freak man, alright, so we have another update, another actually announcement from Hunter Labrada, who decided to do Chicago Pro in 16 weeks from now. And this is his most recent physique update. You can see that he looks really good. Like, he made some improvements in the meantime. Right now, his weight post-training is 281. Guys, for somebody at his height, wow, that, that, that's really big. His, his fasted weight in the morning is 275, which is also really impressive. Like, he's, uh, he's bigger than Nick Walker right now. And I think they are, well, they're probably not the similar conditioning, Nick is, Nick is leaner, definitely. I'm gonna show an update of him as well to you in a moment, but uh, let's just stay with Hunter for a second. So he looks absolutely monsterish, I think that's the word, which would never describe his father in his heydays. His father was rather classic, right? But Hunter, at this point, he is a monster. I mean, this is what bodybuilding is today. Bodybuilding back in the 80s was more about being aesthetic. Today, it's all about mass. 
We have classic physique, that's about classic stuff. Bodybuilding, it's about size. But you do need to keep your waistline in check, which was a problem back during the early 2000s and early 2010s. We worked on it, everybody was talking about it. And the judges stopped awarding bodybuilders with huge guts. So today it's in check. It's, it's much better than it was before. And it's only gonna get better because bodybuilders who are big and have small waist and have their guts in check, they don't have bubble guts, they are doing much better. They are placing better. And Hunter, for example, right here, his waistline is in check. It, it's a great waistline. It's great midsection, great abs. I mean, not really super impressive abs that he has, not really, but he has small waist, I mean, it's not a big waist, and the abs are not looking horrible, they're looking fine, that's all we want from bodybuilding. No, we are not necessarily demanding 250-60 pound bodybuilders on stage to have perfect abs, but Hunter is actually doing really well, I mean, his abs are really good, they're not uh, classic physique type of good abs, good stomach, but they're good. That they're really good. They're probably more than what would be the minimum standard. So he has a small waistline. He gained a lot of mass. He looks huge right now. And I can't wait to see him on stage and see what he's going to look like once he actually diets down, when he leans out. And I'm sure he's going to win that Chicago Pro and qualify for the next year's or this year's Mr. Olympia 2021. All right. Nick Walker, Justin Rodriguez, Blessing of Adibu, Mohamed Shaban and the others gotta be really scared right now after they've seen this post of Hassan Mustafa. Not only the way he looks, not only the way his shoulders are round and full and his arms and the vascularity on him is just insane. Not just that, but his description as well. He says 100% total focus. And that means he's gonna be bringing probably his best game ever. At least I hope so. I mean, that's what he announces, and that's what I see on this photo. He looks really good. At six, actually five and a half weeks out? Wow, wow. I mean, this is good. He's big, he's full, and he's shredded at this point. And I'm sure he's gonna get much, much leaner. And probably, hopefully, I mean, every year so far, he has been getting leaner and leaner from show to show. Uh, in the beginning, in his early years, he was really not able to bring conditioning. Last year, it was good. This year, I'm thinking it's gonna be his best conditioning ever, and most likely he's gonna win this New York Pro. Based on all I've seen so far, it's gonna be really close. We have some really good competitors. Nick Walker, it's gonna be hard to beat that guy. But again, I said before, if I was a batting man, I would bat on Hassan. I think he is my safest bet. But if I wanted to be a little bit wild, I would go with Nick Walker. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. But based on this photo right here of Hassan, I'm saying he has really big chances and probably the biggest chances to actually win this show. And here's why it's very close. It's gonna be close between these two guys, I'm thinking. I don't think Justin Rodriguez is gonna be top two. I think he's gonna be third, probably. Blessing is gonna be fourth. But I'm gonna make a special prediction video when I'm more certain about what I'm saying. Here you can see what... Uh, what Nick Walker is looking at 5.5 weeks out, posted by his coach, Matt Jansen, and uh, he looks great, like, he's almost conditioned. I'm not thinking, I'm, I'm not seeing glutes to be super peeled right now, he needs to work on that a little bit more, and, uh, and the lower back as well, but, I mean, look at the quads, look at the, the stomach, look at the abs and arms and everything from the front just looks stage ready, right? And then just from the behind, he needs to uh, trim down a little bit more, uh, just a little bit more from the hamstrings and glutes and lower back. And then when he dehydrates himself, he's going to look shredded. So I have no doubt this guy is going to be spot on. And uh, when he flexes his abs like this, it makes his V taper look much better. I mean, before he was stretching it and it, it, made, him, it made him look a little bit less proportionate. I mean, his uh, abdomen, his, basically his torso looked much longer. Uh, compared to his legs. His legs seemed a little bit shorter, but now when he does this crunched abs, it looks better. And also he has really well-developed abs, and he needs to show that as well. I mean, that's also a muscle. More muscle you see on a frame, it makes it look that more impressive, right? Uh, his arms are really big. He, he's very complete, right? Back is there, legs are there. I mean, you name it. What he misses? Not much, really. Maybe a waistline could be a little bit... Uh, smaller, maybe that proportion when it comes to leg to torso ratio could be a little bit better, but it's good, it's good, he's great, and uh, I think he's gonna be battling for the first spot, first or second in my opinion, at this point, what do you guys think? Alright, and something interesting for the end, we have The Rock, showing off his legs, 
So he's training, he's training hard for his role of Black Adam. By the way, I can't wait to watch that movie. I'm a big fan of superheroes, I'm sure most of you are as well if you're following bodybuilding. Of course, Marvel has probably better movies than DC, but DC lately made a few good movies, such as this last Justice League, uh, Zack Snyder's cut. That was a good movie, I really enjoyed it. And apparently from what I read, I never really watched or read any comics about uh, Black Adam, but from what I read on Google, he, he, he's supposed to be very strong, like a really strong character, something close to Superman. So that's gonna be a great movie, but that was off the topic of bodybuilding, <laughs> just a little bit of a movie talk. Anyways, Rock, right now, at his age of 48, his legs, his legs improved. I mean, as far as I remember seeing his legs last time, they didn't look this impressive. He wasn't exactly known for having great legs, but right now they are looking great and making your legs grow at that age, that's something you don't see very often. And if you guys have been following bodybuilding, you know that when bodybuilders retire, the first muscle they lose is legs. And when they try to come back, their legs are never looking as good as they once were when they were younger. So it's really hard to make progress when it comes to legs when you are a little bit older. And The Rock, again, is 48 and still managed to make his legs look better than before. So that's really impressive. And overall, he has an impressive physique for like for bodybuilding standards. And he has nothing really to do with bodybuilding. He's never He has never competed, but now he's involved. I mean, he was involved with Mr. Olympia. He was a promoter that one year, and now he's doing Atleticon, which is gonna happen next year. Uh, April, I think. I think it's gonna be, yeah, it, it was supposed to be this this fall, it was supposed to be at the same time as Mr. Olympia, but they rescheduled it for the next year's spring. So we'll see what's going to happen at Laticon in 2022. But as for now, we have Mr. Olympia, Arnold Classic and the other shows happening. And uh, is Rock going to jump in in one of those shows? <laughs> I don't think so. But if he decided to take that path instead of wrestling, he could have been one of the freakiest bodybuilders. Probably, most likely. So whatever you guys think about his physique right now at the age of 48, tell me down below what do you think about Morgan Ace? How well will he do at this New York Pro and Indie Pro? And who do you think is going to win the New York Pro? And what do you think Hunter is going to do at that Chicago Pro? Is he going to win it? I'm sure he will. Whatever you guys think though, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more videos like this. All the best guys and bye bye.